Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Delhi Tarot. And these are going to be your mid-month reading for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Virgo. Virgo, please keep in mind that this is going to be your general reading. And you know all very well that I have changed the pattern of doing my readings. I'm going to pull out some common energy cards, some common angel messages, then few common tarot cards. But I'm going to pull out some separate messages for you guys, for people who opt a number. So this is actually a pick a number reading. You have number one, number two, and number three. Now I'm going to pull out the separate messages for these numbers. But in the end of the reading, I'm going to pull out a common angel of abundance message for all of you so that you are there with me till the end of the video. And there is something for you at the end of the video always. Okay, now I have also uploaded the money jar queries. There are a lot of queries of different type. It is the, the answers of those queries on my community group. And yes, I promised for doing the candle meditation for fast money. I am definitely going to do it very, very soon for all of you. Now, let us see what common energy or echo message do we have for my dear Virgo people. This is your mid-month reading. Please pick it up what resonates with you. Please leave the rest for others. And as I always request, if you really like what I do, please do like, subscribe the channel and put on the notifications. And this is valid from 16th of April till 30th of April. A lot of people are sending me the emails. Yes, I do private personal emails, uh, readings. It, the email ID is mentioned in my description box below. You can send an email to me. Please know any private process is a paid process. Please share an email with that understanding. I appreciate it. Okay, now Virgo, what do we need to know for you? What do we need to know for you? What do we need to know for you? Virgo, it is, oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you have money. You have love in your reading. What else you want? Tell me. You have door to finance and you have door to money. Do we need anything else in the reading today, Virgo? Oh my goodness, look at the, look at the, I'm going to place it here, you know, just here, so that you keep on seeing the victory, door to romance, and the cornucopia, such a strong energy oracle reading. Let me pull out your angel messages today. What messages do we have from your angels? I have look for a sign for you and one more it is improving health okay let me now see what is your <laughs> isn't it a great reading today you have a flyer excuse me you have a flyer it's three of wands You have Ace of Swords and you have Page of Cups. So there are messages in your reading. Okay, I hope the reading is visible to you. Now it is better. Okay, now this was your bottom of the deck and it is a victory. You, whatever you do these 15, 16 days, you are going to be victorious for sure. There is no doubt about it because energy oracle speaks a lot about your overall energy for a particular period. If you see these two cards, you have cornucopia, the materialistic gain, your money, your prosperity. With this reading, I can say that you are opening up all the doors of happiness in your love life and in your professional life as well. These two cards are actually telling me that there is a great balance in your reading. There is a great balance in your life altogether. The door to romance says that you will be having a very improved time in your love life, in your relationship. 
your understanding with your partner, your intimacy, your chemistry is definitely going to improve when you have door to personal, door to romance. And I also see you and your partner going for a formal engagement. And there is also marriage fixing up for a lot of you. And I claim this. You have that vibration from this feeling. You have number 33. 33 is a master number is a is a very very powerful number go and check out the meaning of 33 when you have 33 expect a lot of partnerships in in your life it could be personal professional lot of alliances cooperation you working with people people joining your hands you know there will be people who for who will be coming forward for your hand holding so there is a lot of people joining each other so that's number 33 and you know you're going to build up a lot of things with this ventures with these partnership whether it's your love partnership whether it's your uh, you know partnership in your work but when you have door to romance expect great time ahead in your love life and cornucopia is a great great card which claims that the time is going to give you unexpected great money you name it you are going to get it you want professional growth you want a greater designation nice project quality work great money bonuses incentive performances everything is there in this cornucopia you you dream it you think it and you get it when you have cornucopia i didn't realized you even have number 11 so you have two master numbers this time in your reading 11 and 33 i'm going to put it on your uh, punch line also you have these two master numbers this is going to be a great time for you use these 15 16 days to create something new to innovate something new or to take major decisions or to take major steps in your life it is really going to help you these 15 days you will see victory for sure the angels also say keep on looking for a sign keep on looking for an opportunity wherein you see the miracles happening here where you see the divine intervention you know see the kind of dreams you are seeing again and again what i mean to say is when the same dream is getting repeated again and again you see divine numbers these are definitely divine numbers the master numbers angels talk to you with their dreams with the numbers with feathers same you know things happening to you again and again same people different people talking about same thing all these are angelic communication understand the signal the divine wants to give it to you this time the overall health when i say health i did not only mean the money health i mean to say the professional health personal mental emotional social you know when i say social your reputation in your network your name and fame in your personal and professional network it is definitely going to improve and i also see that you will be also improving your the balance which you have in your life which is almost visible here very nicely overall it is going to be a great time ahead now if i see your tarot reading you have these three cards now all the three cards are definitely the minor arcana so i don't see that you know a major life lesson is happening during this time but yes in these 15 days expect messages to come in you know messages at personal level pers professional level you wanted to have a call you're waiting for something a message from your lover from your ex uh you know a message in your professional life from your boss senior waiting for an interview call a letter finalization of a detail deal or anything of that sort in your money career finance business a deal or even in your relationship so expect a lot of messages in these 15 days and i also see that with this ace of sword you are beginning something new it could be a relationship and it could be a communication as well. You are going to have great communication this time because you have Ace of Swords and Ace of Swords generally is a beginning of a communication. On all notes, you have a page of cup. Expect somebody in giving messages to you and I'm sensing great love time ahead, which is giving smile on my face again and again. I expect that if you are not on talking terms with your partner, or if you're angry, if you're annoyed, your partner is definitely going to approach you for sure. And you people are definitely going to have good time. And in professional life, I also see that you will be 
the other partner, the other side people, whether it's a boss, peer, your colleague, or anybody X in your professional life, they are going to approach you. Definitely, they're going to connect with you and they want to work with you again. And I see that they see you as, as a very nice professional. They, they can plan their future with you. With three of wands, I see that you are also planning something for future. You are not doing anything right at the moment, which is just short term or with short vision. But yes, I definitely see that you are working on something which is going to be long lasting. And I'm sensing from your reading that it is also going to be in your life and people will approach you for something, some long term goal, which you call long term planning. You have a wonderful reading today. I'm sure you don't have any <laughs> doubts when you see these readings. OK, now I'm going to pull out the message for people who opted for number one. And I have my sacred oracle deck here. And let us see what messages do we have for people who opted for number one today. People who opted for number one. And it is, oh my God, you have infinite abundance. And it tells abundance is pouring into your life post cornucopia. I don't want to explain this to you. It is self-explanatory. And I want to pull one Archangel Michael card for you so that you get your prayers. These prayers are very important. If you really wish to grow, these prayers really help. And it says eternal loves a lot of love and money coming to your reading. Help me perceive all of the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing and giving love. What a wonderful message. Opting for people who have opted for two. OK, let us see what message do we have for people who opted for number two. And it is ascending the mountain. And it says, keep going forward. Do not stop. If you feel there are delays, there are challenges, there are obstacles, there are sometimes it moves very fast, sometimes it becomes slow. Just keep on moving. Just keep on moving ahead, no matter how hard is the situation. Don't stop yourself. Let us see what Archangel Michael's prayer is for you. You can call Archangel Michael to remove any blockages coming in way of your personal and professional life. And it says self-respect. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see myself as you see me through the eyes of love. Thank you for honoring and respecting me. Please guide me to do the same for myself. Grant me the courage to speak up on my behalf, on my own behalf. I ask for your protection in all my relationships so that I'm surrounded by loving and kind people. Okay. Now I'm going to pull out the message for people who opted for number three. And you have, let us see what message do we have for you. It is finding centuries, opening to your spiritual sources. It's time for you to look for inner wisdom and growth. Let me see what Archangel Michael message do we have for you guys? People who opted for number three. And you have half confidence. It says, Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize that I am one with all that is divine, wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. That's a wonderful message for people who opted for number three. Now I'm going to pull out a common message of abundance, the angel of abundance message for all my dear Virgo people out there. Let us see what message do we have. Take a divinely guided chance. It's take a divinely guided change. It says all positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk. 
and you're ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar, but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. It's time for you to look for a change that completely means that if a opportunity is coming to you and you feel that that opportunity is a great opportunity, the angels are actually telling you to pick up that opportunity because that opportunity is being sent to you by the divine. Do let me know how you resonated with such a detailed mid-month reading and I will see you next time very soon. Be blessed.